New this week, Commercial Labs now offering testing kits. Prior to this week, tests were only coming out of the state lab. Even with increased availability of the kits, it will not be a free-for-all. Those labs are still following CDC guidelines for just who gets tested. Our Joey Prechtel is here in the studio. Tell us what all this means, Joey. Well, Mark, up until this week, the state lab was the only lab testing for the novel coronavirus. Now, Idaho Department of Health and Welfare posted on their Facebook page today saying that they have the materials to test about a thousand samples and that testing is ongoing and there is no backlog there. But now more testing is being offered by private labs, but that doesn't mean anyone and everyone should run to their doctor's office to get tested. Because it's not everyone that needs a test. Tommy Alquist is a doctor and owner of Salter Health. If you haven't been exposed to someone with the virus or traveled to an area that, that the virus is present, and here's the important part, have the symptoms that are very clear there, you don't need the test. But let's say you are showing symptoms. Those are fever, cough, shortness of breath. This can take anywhere from two to 14 days to show after exposure. Then you can go to your doctor's office and ask for a test. The way we're going to handle that is, is, is have them come in and wait in an area that is different than the main waiting area and then to do the swab and get the test done. Instead of sending that swab off to the state lab, it will be going to Quest Diagnostics Lab in California. Commercial labs like Quest are now able to test for the novel coronavirus. So the big difference now is before we had limited kits that were available from the government, essentially. We now have a commercial testing that is available. As for the cost of the test. We called the insurers that are, that are in our community and said, what's it going to cost a patient? And they're, way, they're covering the cost of the test. Now the turnaround on these tests through Quest will be three to four days. Now I also checked in with St. Al's and St. Luke's today. St. Luke's said they will continue to send their swabs to the state lab and St. Al's told me they're following CDC guidelines and will use the lab they feel is the best option for the patient as well as for the provider. But Mark, a big reason why Tommy Alquist doesn't want a rush on, you know, Salter Health Urgent Cares is because there's a limited supply of those swabs and those containers that they'll have to, you know, swab your mouth, swab your nose and then send off to California. And that's why they still are asking asking only people showing symptoms or recently exposed to come and ask to get tested. There has been a lot of misinformation being spread around social media about the testing procedure. We're happy to set the record straight. Joey, thanks.